Well, a beautiful Tuesday, a beautiful way to wrap up March, and we're heading into April, and Wednesday, tomorrow, looks a little bit better than it did earlier in the week, so let's get to it. We'll show you what we have going on. We'll start out with a little bit of phenology for the beginning of April. A couple of things to look forward to. The crocus are blooming. Um, I've already seen a bunch of pictures. You can't go to the Arboretum, but the Arboretum Instagram page is beautiful, and they're letting us know what is blooming out there and showing us great pictures, so check that out dandelions by the way are just about to begin as well and i've seen a lot of cardinals very busy the male cardinals by the way are feeding the females sunflower seeds and the southern minnesota lakes are ice free while the northern minnesota lakes still have quite a bit of ice and we're noticing ice free conditions in many locations so if you have an ice free lake send us a picture let us know where you live what the name of the lake is of course what day it went out and we'll share some of those with us uh, with you um, as well hashtag care 11 weather share that with us any way you can couple lakes in Minneapolis that have gone out over the last couple of days, as you can see there in Uptown, uh, Bidet McCoskey, and also as well Lake of the Isles. We did top out at 54. We thought we would, and we did. 34 was the low this morning, and uh, no precipitation with, wow, barely a cloud in the sky, that crystal clear blue sky that we get in April with the low dew points. So 54 right now in the metro. It is 54 in Brainerd, 52 in Jackson, 57 degrees in Laverne, and 55, as you can see, in Maple Lake and as well in Princeton and for our friends at Eden Prairie. Good afternoon there. Cambridge as well at 55 degrees this afternoon. Not bad at all. The winds are coming up out of the south and east. You probably noticed that east, southeast. That'll be the case throughout the night, but we will have a clear evening and we will dip down into the 30s. So we have two systems coming toward us, one from Montana and one from the Four Corners. They're going to combine over us in the next couple of days. So what can we expect tonight? Just a few clouds drifting through from time to time. Uh, probably making uh, for a, just a beautiful sunset, actually. And then for tomorrow, we do have a little bit of light rain coming in, but it's really falling apart as it comes in, as we're noticing here on many of the models. So other than a mix of sun and clouds, you don't have to anticipate a lot of rain tomorrow. Not the case by the time we get to Thursday afternoon. Here's Thursday morning. You can see the rain and snow up to our north. All of that's going to be pivoting through us um, uh, Thursday night into Friday. So with both of these low pressure centers, the one to the north tugging down that cold air, the one to the south pulling up all that moisture. That is why it's going to be quite wet Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, and Friday. And yes, the temperatures will hold steady at 40 on Friday and then start falling overnight Thursday night. They'll hold steady. And that is why we'll get some accumulating snow. And then high pressure does roll in for the weekend. Now, how much snow are we going to get? I mean, it is April after all. The European model gives accumulating snow for our friends in western and northern Minnesota, but the American model has all of us getting at least a little bit of slushy accumulation. So this again will be on Friday and we'll continue to watch it. Not an April Fool's joke. I wish it was. Okay, tonight, 35 degrees and here's your seven day forecast. 52, 57, the rain comes in Thursday night and wraps up on Friday. The weekend is looking better. We'll be back with more Carol 11 News at 5 in just a few moments.